Dozens of suspects swept up by authorities for their alleged connection to the distribution of drugs in Worcester County. Now, after more than half a year of covert and overt co uh, operations, the details of this investigation were released just today. Named Operation Street Sweeper, it included agencies in Worcester County and beyond, even across state lines. 47 ABC's Lili Zeng joins us now in the studio. Lili, you spoke with the Worcester County State's Attorney earlier. What did he have to tell you? Yeah, David, Emily, that's right. We spoke to Bo Oglesby one-on-one -on -one today, and he says this investigation primarily targeted the northern part of Worcester County, so Ocean City, Bishopville, and Berlin, among cities. And while this is a big step forward, he says this is not the first and it's not the last investigation of its kind. They're all ringleaders of their own criminal enterprise. There's no head of the snake, so to speak. Bo Oglesby is talking about the arrests and arrest warrants for 61 people, all of whom reportedly have ties to alleged selling or use of drugs in the northern part of Worcester County. It's a multi-agency effort named Operation Street Sweeper. According to Oglesby, the eight-month-long investigation, which began this past fall, included state police from both Maryland and Delaware, plus Ocean City Police and Homeland Security. And a lot of the work was undercover. That was a very large part of this, uh, this operation. This operation not only involves hand-to-hand uh, -hand sales to undercover police officers, but it also involves a lot of those community uh, nuisance types of crimes that are always associated with drug distribution. Lieutenant Ray Austin is assistant commander within the Criminal Investigation Division for the Ocean City Police Department. According to Lieutenant Austin, it required boots on the ground, as he calls it, by investigators to identify suspects. They work the streets. Um, they're the ones who know um, who the players are out on the street. Um, they talk, again, they're in the communities talking to the people and knowing who's there. But investigators also dove into the web. Text messages, Facebook messages. Um, searches on browsers on smartphones. Just about everything you do in your daily life is somehow captured on that piece of electronic media. And when it is seized, it becomes part of the investigation. As of Tuesday, we're told only a handful of the 61 people have not yet been arrested. Now, only a partial list of the names of all 61 people arrested or wanted have been released. You can find that on our website, 47abc.com. David, Emily. All right, thank you so much, Lily, for that report. That's 47ABC's Lily Zhang reporting live in our studio tonight.